Hello, welcome back to Inspired by Tasia. My name is Tasia Lee, and um, this channel is about um, information relating to the H2B program, how to apply, how to seek employers, and also just um, information on how um, you go about whether through an agency or um, applying by yourself. So today we will be covering the basics about the H2B program, just some general information. So before we continue any further, I would like for you to like this video, um, subscribe and also um, share this video as well so that persons can also become aware of um, stuff as it relates to the H2B program. All right, so we will jump into our first um, topic, which is um, what is the H2B program? So the H2B program um, is um, a program which allows for US employers or agents who meet um, specific regulatory requirements to bring foreign nationals um, into the United States to fill um, temporary non-agricultural jobs. So when you think of H2B program, especially us Jamaicans, we would um, we would think about we would a lot of persons do not know what the program is, what it entails, and what it, what it is about. So um, to give you an understanding, basically, um, employers in the United States who cannot find um, U.S. workers to fill certain positions in the United States in the temporarily temporary seed season now peak load or um, intermittent need, they would um, file a petition with the U.S. government um, expressing their need for um, workers. And um, that's where um, upon filing their petition, on a, there's a process that they have to go through to get um, workers, foreign nationals, um, to come to the United States to work for them. So basically, um, the H2B program, it, there's a list of um, countries that are allowed to participate, which of course Jamaica is included because most employers, they do get um, their workers from Jamaica and Mexico is popular as well. So um, as it relates to the H2B program, normally when persons hear about going overseas to work for the hotel work program, that's what we would call it in Jamaica. When persons hear about that, persons would think um you know they have to go through an agency in order to um obtain a job but um upon researching and upon coming together with some other um persons as well um it's I'm, i wouldn't say easy but um it's there's a lot to the program and there's a lot of ways where you can go ahead and apply independently by yourself even opposite upon um filing your visa application as well. So normally persons like myself at first or persons from Jamaica would think, oh, um, it's such a hassle to um, apply and get through with an employer overseas. So one of the, one of the basis, basic things when um, researching, there's all the information about the program is actually on the government website. There are a few websites you have USCIS you have the D Department of Labor website along with others I can I'm, I'm gonna put the link um, in the description below so that you guys can check them out all the information is um, on those websites about how to apply um, as it relates to an employer and um, also how there's general information about how you can go about in obtaining an H2B visa which is the work permit some would call it so as it relates to agencies, um, agencies, they, um, the agencies in Jamaica who recruit for um, H2B workers, they would have a link with the, um, some employers in the United States. And when those employers would um, need to file their petition and um, apply for workers from Jamaica, for example, they would have these agencies that they reach out to, to do the recruitment for them, as well as though some employers independently they seek workers for themselves they interview you and um they send they do they um go ahead and do the visa process by themselves or 
what they can do is they would they can um, interview you give you and give you a job offer and they can um, then send you to the agency in Jamaica who does the um, process for them so um, I have been on the H2B program before um, it takes um, it takes a lot of research and find ways finding ways to reach out to these employers and also um, to obtain you know offers to get to the United States so upon researching um, there's a lot of information as well as um, there's a lot of steps in our um, to take in order to um, get in touch with employers as well as to um, on the employers and there's a lot that they have to do before they can go ahead and hire workers um, out of outside of the United States so um, also with the H2B program what happens is that a lot of persons think that they have to go through an agency in order to apply and most of the time these agencies require um, for you to have certain experience can because when we talk about non agricultural jobs we're talking about positions um, for H2B like housekeeping, serving, cook, steward, bartending, and the list goes on. So normally, um, employers they require minimal experience, if not, um, if they are um, requiring any, because most employers they require you, um, they require for you not to have any experience. But um, if you should go through an agency in Jamaica, then they would require for you to have some form of experience. Some employers, however, do require you to have some experience depending on the job position in which you would be applying for. So um, most employers, though, they do not require experience because on my um, during my first time going, I did not have any experience when applying. And when I get there, the they th that's what they do they train you and then you start working after also with the h2b program a lot of persons have been scammed because they don't know any information about the h2b program all the information is there online it's just for persons to go ahead and research just to get some general information because the H2B program, there is no fee required. There is no payment that you should pay. The most that an, an, an employer will require for you to do is when it reach, reaches the point where you should um, apply for your H2B visa, they would require for you to pay that um, $190, I think. They would require for you to pay that, but upon reaching into the, um, upon arriving into the United States, sorry, then they will go ahead and re reimburse you that amount. So most times employers, they, some, most employers, they will cover your visa fee. They will cover your plane ticket because that's their responsibility. If, um, there's an instance where they allow you to pay these fees, what they will do upon the, um, in the first, within the first week of employment, they would reimburse you this amount because, um, those costs are to be covered by them. Also applying with some agencies, agencies there um there's general um registration fees that they charge depending on the agencies that you apply with and um most of the times um they do not have jobs readily available i should say because with the h2b program there is two seasons they have um summer and they have winter so also with the H2B program, there is um, 66,000 visas, H2B visas that are given out each fiscal year. So 33,000 is for the first half and the other 33,000 is for the second half of the fiscal year. So we have it starting from April 1st to September 30th, that's the second half, and the first half is October 1st to March 31st. So those are the two um, time frames. So employers, um, for example, with a seasonal need, they would get um, workers to fill, because maybe the, their busiest seasons, busiest season would be like for the summer, most employers. But you also have employers that they're busy all year round. So they would 
petition for workers for the summer season and they will also petition, petition for workers for the winter season. So back to the agencies now. Some agencies do not have jobs readily available for you and also maybe because of the, um, the amount of persons that when they do their recruitment drive, maybe because of the amount of persons that are applying, then the amount of jobs that the agencies do have, there's a lot of people to fill those areas. But also, there are a lot of employers who do, do not work with agencies in, agencies in Jamaica, because even some employers themselves do not quite understand fully what the H2B program entails because most most persons get the lawyers to file their petitions for them and um, agents to take care of um, all the hassle as it relates to the H2B program. But um, a person can reach out to an employer directly and upon the decision of that employer, if they do decide to take you on, they can go ahead and take you on. What they will do, they will go ahead and give you send you the necessary documents when they file their petition they will send you the necessary documents for you to go ahead and um, start your visa process by yourself you can do that application online by yourself everything basically can be done by yourself because I know a lot of persons who did um, their visa process by themselves because the agency um, sorry the employer that I went with they did not have an agency in Jamaica with whom they work with. So um, my visa process um, was partially done by myself as long as an agent they, that they have in Mexico who recruits for H2B workers. So for seasons, um, the summer season and the winter season, the summer, se the summer season starts April 1st. So during that period, um, so leading up to that period, I should say, employers would um, be filing their petition and they would start recruiting um, in like some start early as January and some it would be more like February going into March that they start their recruitment process to get their, the foreign workers and your visa process would start um, I would say March to get your visa for the start date of April 1st. So um, employers who I hire for winter then they will start their recruit. Some start as early as June, but in September, um, June to September is when they recruit for a start date um, of October 1st. Normally, persons from Jamaica like myself, when we hear about um, the hotel work program and how to, and the farm work program, which is the H2A, that's agricultural, the farm work um, program, the H2B, the hotel work program, which we're more familiar with, um, when we hear about those programs, we would think that okay is it would be links that allows you to get through on those programs as well as as well as we think it hard that um, it would um, a job would be easily su um, sustainable. So as it relates to um, the program, um, a lot of a lot of information is accessible via certain website government websites. And also, um, there's a lot of approved agencies that the government has for persons to um, reach out and sign up with to get on these programs as well. For example, there is the minister, the ministry in Jamaica. They have a list of um, eligible agencies that they have approved agencies who register every year with the gov Jamaican government so that they can um, renew their license to recruit H2B workers. So if you are a first-timer seeking to um, apply for an H2B job, then um, in this channel, then we will be sharing information in videos to come on how to apply the step-by-step -step process, as well as how it goes as it relates to obtaining an H2B visa. So if you're thinking about applying um, now, then the upcoming season with the start date April 1st would be the season for you. So we will be having a lot of more videos coming as it relates to um, the step-by-step -step process and how to apply and um, what to do, how to find the employers, um, how to reach out to these employers and also um, 
to know because the thing with the HW program, you can have an employer that gives you a job offer, but they have to be approved. Their petition has to be approved for them to hire you. But not to worry, um, I will be touching um, on some different topics and more in depth on how um, to apply and, and, and more information about the H2B program. And also so persons can have a better understanding as it relates to the H2B program so that right off the bat you can, you know, you can also tell someone else about the program. So um, thank you for tuning in. This is just the basic and some basic information. There's still a lot more to the HOB program. So you can join us in, on our next video. And also remember to like, subscribe and share and tell your friend because um, since, since um, I've been researching about this program, there's a lot of persons that I helped, family and friends with applying and obtaining jobs. Also, there was a small group of us who um who created a group as and we were applying researching and sharing information with each other since then there has been hundreds of persons who um who were first timers who got through and are now working in the united states as we speak so in our next videos to come as well we will have um persons who um who went on the program who will be sharing some information and also to share their experience with applying and up on getting into the United States as, as well. So stay tuned once more. My name is Tejali and thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.